Hi, my name is Jared Johnson and I'm the coordinator of e-learning and ICT integration at Pontland Grammar School in Adelaide. I'm also the ICT integration lecturer workshop person for uh, the University of Adelaide. And uh, what I'm going to be talking to you today is about the National Professional Standards for Teachers and the TPAC model. So Initially, this model came out originally um, by Schulman in 1986, who came up with the idea that pedagogical knowledge and content knowledge actually share a partnership in the fact that you teach differently for different subjects. And this is called the pedagogical content knowledge. Um, so the way I teach math is going to be very different to the way I teach science. Recently, Mishra and, Co and Kobler in 2006 came up with the idea that ICT, or technical knowledge, should be embedded in this model as well. So the technical knowledge impacts on content and the way that we teach content, so content knowledge. So, for example, uh, in, if I'm teaching music, then I might be using Sibelius as to, to, to disseminate the content of, of music. Equally, if I'm teaching in a classroom, the way that I teach using technology will change... Uh, depending on the different subjects I'm teaching and the different way I teach. Finally, the middle box is how teachers is where we want to be, and it's where teachers are utilising technology and ICT embedded ubiquitously in the classroom to deliver content in a way that's going to be engaging to the students and all their all their different needs. Um, and this is based right in the middle. So, from national professional standards. Uh, it's important that teachers are able to use ICT effectively to engage students in their learning. From the national curriculum, we've got that students have to actually use ICT and make informed choices uh, and limit the risk to themselves and others in the digital age. And finally, the, uh, the under the Shackled School Internet uh, paper produced by Hope this year, uh, it says that overblocking in schools actually inhibits students' educational development. Point of view, from the teacher, uh, the teachers also have the ATSL standards, and there are th 37 different standards with ICT uh, embedded throughout them um, that really enforce what's being taught in the classroom and how it's being taught. So ATSL 3.4 is how to select and use resources uh, with that include on, and how to use ICT safely and responsibly and ethically in the classroom. So now the TPAC model is actually starting to get a little bit more complicated because our content knowledge is now being impacted on by a car and the national curriculum. Our pedagogical knowledge is being impacted on by schools and gifted and talented programs and learning support programs and the parents and the students, um, the students' needs. And ATSL, who is driving the uh, use of ICT in the classroom, is embedding on the technical knowledge. So the teachers actually have quite a lot to deal with. Um, and a huge amount recently of PD has been undertaken uh, to really improve in the way that they deliver their content um, through uh, online education and through um, electronic media and so on, um, and also improve on the way they teach, so using blogs and wikis, discussion boards, whatever, in the classroom, and really want to enhance the student's learning. We want to enhance the uh, the uh, educational outcomes for the students and really um, make their learning landscape the best it can possibly be. So as far as ICT governance goes, everything that you're deciding to do in your school should be relating back to this TPAC model. If you're going to go to BYOD, how is it impacting on this and the ability of teachers to teach? Uh, if you're actually, if you go to the point where no, we don't, we don't want to allow um, the computers in the school, we don't want to allow internet in the school, we've blocked everything, well, we're actually stopping this third of the student's education. Um, and if teachers can't uh, utilise this, the, uh, their technical content knowledge and technical pedagogical knowledge, then the teachers won't be able to uh, be re-registered, in fact. Um, and so you'll actually get teachers leaving. Uh, teachers leave, students leave. Now, it's fine to have an awesome internet and awesome protected stuff in your school, but if there's no teachers or students there, well, this also going to be stay, stay open for very long.